Today I'm going to be making a quick and delicious and healthy meal. Pan seared chicken that's going to be baked in the oven and steam some vegetables to go along with it. My chicken breast I have marinating here. Um, I like to marinate my chicken breast at least overnight or 24 hours. And what I put in here is just equal parts of olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, I have some uh, rosemary and parsley in there. And I sprinkled in a little bit of this um, Pappy's all-purpose seasoning, low-sodium all-purpose seasoning. And I let them sit overnight um, in the refrigerator. And I usually turn them, kind of, I'll turn them every time I open the fridge or in the morning when I get up, I'll turn them and kind of rotate them um, like that until uh, I'm ready to bake them. So those have been marinating and I like to pull them out and let them warm up to uh, close to room temperature before I put them in the pan. I'm gonna be using the uh, the Wagner number 10 uh, skillet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sear the chicken breast in this and then bake them in the oven. So you want to get our oven warmed up to 400 degrees and then we're gonna get our pan warmed up and uh, sear these in there to give them some color and then bake them. For my vegetables, I just use a stainless steel um, pot and a stainless steel colander, is that what this is called? And I fill it up with water just to the bottom of this and I pour my vegetables in. Steam the vegetables, they usually take about 10 minutes uh, until they're fork tender for the carrots and the broccoli here. I usually just put my... If I'm doing carrots, I'll put carrots on the bottom. If I'm feeling lazy, I just use these baby carrots so I don't have to cut up regular carrots. Put those on the bottom. If I'm doing broccoli with it, I'll put the broccoli on top usually. And if you want, I usually you can sprinkle um, salt, just lightly salt them on top while they cook. Um, so you can do that if you want or you can do it without salt. Alright, so since our chicken has olive oil in it, I'm just going to pour some of the juice to the pan here. Put our chicken in. Alright, it's been a little bit over three minutes. It's probably time to flip them. Let's see. heat down just a little bit. So my oven's preheating to 400 right now, degrees Fahrenheit. Once I'm done searing them on both sides and get a good color on them, we're going to throw them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit at least. So it's been another three minutes or so. Get some nice coloring going on. I'm going to turn this pan off and uh, the oven should be done preheating any minute now. So this is one of the cool things about cast iron is we can sear, pan sear, pan pot and put it directly into a hot oven and continue baking it. So there we go, our oven's ready and I'm going to throw them in. Chicken's baking in the oven. Set the timer for 15 minutes on those. Our vegetables are steaming away and I'm gonna check them with the fork. All right, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna check their temperature. I got this new little thermometer, digital thermometer on Amazon because uh, my old thermometer, I just didn't trust it. And this one's actually pretty cool. It gives you the, uh, has, the temperature scale on there, it's not focusing. Anyways, it has the uh, temperature scale on there and the, uh, the uh, pan clip and the uh, opening for the probe so you can stick it in a saucepan and it'll still read. 
And the reason I got this one is because you can also calibrate it uh, using some ice and water so that way you know that it's, it's accurate. It's coming in a little light at 152. This one was the thicker one. Flip it over. Double check this one again. So, eh, we'll put them in for another five minutes or so. This little guy's probably done. So I'm just going to throw them back in for another five minutes. Don't forget to take your hot holder out and put the pan in the oven. So the veggies are done. These ones took a little bit longer than normal. I don't know why, but they do look good. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna set these aside, let them cool for a little bit, and get the vegetables ready. Then I'm gonna try and deglaze this pan and make a, a sauce to go with them. So I don't wanna waste all this good stuff that's left inside here. All these good little brown pieces. So what I'm gonna do is have some cheap wine that nobody wants to drink. And I do wanna be careful when I pour this in. How much? I don't know. So it looks good to you. So I want to heat this back up to a boil. And I do have some chicken stock. I guess I need to add some chicken stock to it. So I'm going to add my cup of chicken stock. Okay, so I'm just going to boil this and then kind of simmer it down until it reduces by about half or so. And deglazing will also help you uh, during the cleaning process of the pan because it helps everything that might be stuck on the bottom uh, come loose and break up. All right, well the sauce is reduced down uh, enough for me. And I'm gonna get everything plated up. Well, here it is, our pan seared oven baked chicken and our steamed vegetables. Pretty quick and easy, straightforward. It makes a really good chicken. I'll put links down below to some of the products that I use. Thanks for watching.